UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, the King! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your hands, and fight. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Nice straight punch. Circling towards the left now. One, two, high kick, go! It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Stay focused, stay focused. Punch over the top. It's a good combination there by Lee. Now 
he counters with a right hook to the head. Try to establish that jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Jab follows it up with a nice right hand. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there. And he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. What a right hand by this young man. Don't give up. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, collar tie. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. seconds to go in the round. Standing in that round, we'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, 
He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Big head kick. And now he's got the tie clinch. Hit by that leg kick may not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Well, you're not winning a fight necessarily when you're controlled. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. We go two minutes down here in the second round. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Strikes continue to rain down the opponent. Better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Let's go, set the pace, you set the pace. Able to check that kick as well. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Good stick. some of the action here and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here thought he might have had him out of there he thought he had him but the guy's tough the guy's durable he has a fantastic chin but he just needs to stay the course he does not need to be discouraged think about this you're winning and you're winning going away that was just a moment keep going in the same direction and you will get the finish that you want so bad Relax. Take the water and listen. I want you to set 
set those kicks up a little bit better. All right, next round is now underway. Previous right. round, not necessarily right. a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice movement, punch. Gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Big body kick lane. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. to go to the counter, ultimately the execution not there, that's a miss. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, big shot lands. Just out of range with that left hook. Big head kick lands. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness the striking has been on point every step of the way careful to not gas out but you gotta like the output here down the stretch single collar tie now 20 seconds now remain in the round 15 seconds to go 
Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Nice punch, Lynn. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. You ready? You ready? Let's go fight, guys. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Back to the feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Can't take many of those. You better check. Powerful leg kick lands. Some nice back and forth action here. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Circling away towards the left now. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect count as you go forward. Beautiful strike. Oh, big head kick. Just over three minutes now to go. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Good punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Checks the leg kick. Nice leg kick land. Caught that kick there. Big kick lands. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Game of inches right it's there, boy. Yeah. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, big left hook there. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Big punch lands through the middle. 90 seconds now to go in this one. Whoa! Gets up again here, but hurt. Oh! Wow! Wow! You got him! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, we take a look back at the replay, and not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. That was a massive body kick, snuck it right under the elbow, 
Once it landed, you knew the fight was about to be finished. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. Tonight. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may. Because this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and got the